taken you to get acclimated to, to this program and this, this role here? Every day is a new day. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're working hard. Um, you know, I got uh, went to the bowl game and went right back on the plane. And, uh, you know, we had that dead period, so I had a couple of weeks in the office to kind of, you know, watch tape, kind of figure out what we were going to do, where we were going to go, and uh, then get out in the road and finished up recruiting. And, you know, we used the last couple of weeks to just kind of figure out exactly what our plan was going to be for spring, where we were going to place per specific personnel because we've, we've made a couple of changes. And, uh, you know, just come out and have a good plan, make sure the guys are excited, playing with a lot of energy, and uh, try to make it simple for us and uh, tough on, the, on our opponents. Early thoughts on the talent you've been here? Well, you know, uh, I just think, you know, having the opportunity to come work for Coach Harbaugh, uh, you know, uh, I think obviously Michigan provides you with an opportunity to play at the very, very highest level. And, uh, you know, I just felt like it was, you know, I've been in New England most of my career, and I just felt like this was an opportunity uh, I did not want to pass up, for sure. Early thoughts on the talent you've inherited? Um, great group of guys. You know, uh, I, I think our athleticism's there. Uh, we're, we're, we're developing at a couple of positions. Um, but I love their enthusiasm, I love their energy, I love their athleticism, but we haven't put the pads on yet. And as you know, you know, uh, that separates the men from the boys. So we'll see, but I like what I see so far. Really a great group of guys um, have responded very well to, uh, to changes in concept. And uh, just, just a, I've had a blast. Based on what you've seen so far, how would you describe the culture of Coach Harbaugh's building here? Uh, very serious in nature about the game of football, but at the same time, you know, the guys have fun. Uh, really, really quality group of young men. Uh, fun to be around. Uh, you know, uh, I'm a big guy on trust. Uh, and just my, uh, my initial impressions, which I think, you know, go a long way as you as you're kind of sinking your teeth into this thing and the amount of time you're spending with people uh, just a really quality group of guys from a character standpoint you're gonna have to play some young linebackers can you talk about that a little bit and then any concern there no mm -hmm. no you know uh, this is a system uh, where I think it's friendly to the linebackers uh, it's aggressive in nature so they'll do a lot of different stuff but, you know, based on their learning curve, we'll just kind of adjust to them. Um, you know, and, and there's, the, the, you know, we, what did we lose? Five of six seniors. Uh, but I'm really excited about the guys I have. So, you know, uh, I think Ben, ben Gideon has really just stepped up. Furbush is doing a good job. You know, Pep's doing a good job. I'm really happy with McCray. You know, I think probably for the first time in his career, He's healthy, and I'm, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, so that's a good thing, and we got a we got a lot of young guys. I'm not going to certainly, uh, you know, uh, single them out yet. Wouldn't be fair to them. They're learning, but I, I but I like my initial impression impressions of them running around athletically. What was it about Jabril that you saw closer to the line of scrimmage with the linebackers? Um, I just think uh, we got to give this guy a bunch of jobs. He's a dynamic athlete. And uh, we'll keep him around the line of scrimmage and let him do a bunch of stuff, you know, whether it's cover, whether it's uh, in certain personnel groups, uh, play linebacker, you know, type stuff. Our Sam's kind of a hybrid if you follow it. You know, like my last year's Sam had seven and a half sacks and 17 DFLs, and he's out covering slots. So, you know, between Furbush and him, you know, uh, I think we can put those two make, put those two guys together and and, uh, and create some dynamic ability out of that position. That's what you're searching for. Does that make it easier to kind of change personnel groups without taking him off the field? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that's the beauty of it. You know, we had a package today where he's in technically as a linebacker, 
So you may think you're going to get one alignment, but we can do completely different stuff because who says he has to be in there playing that position? You know, today he was, but two days from now it may not. So, you know, that's how we roll with that. It's, and it seems like he's, per, you know, mentally well, he's set up to take, you know, whatever you want. Yeah, he's sharp. He's, 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 he's a great dude. You know, uh, he's fun to work with. He's got juice and, you know, I like guys like that. They get you excited going to going to work every day. James ahead of like said that. Huh? Have you had a player like that before? Uh, yeah, you know, Kevin Pierre Lewis with the Seahawks now, Theo Moore with you kind of they're, they're similar guys. Uh, Jabril's a little bit different because he's probably a little better at the, the pass coverage piece of that. But he's faster than both of those guys, so you know, we'll see how that goes. You know, see where it takes us. Change the hey guys, we, said got some, that we got some uh, antsy players that want to leave, so if anyone wants to break off and go start talking to them before okay. they disappear. You said you preach playing with your hair, like your hair is on fire. How do, you, how do you get them to play like that? What's your philosophy? Well, you know, it's like I told them the first night. You know, yeah, grab whatever you need. Yep. There's, two, there's two ways to play this game, You eat, and, it, and it involves pressure. One, you apply it, or two, you feel it. I'm not big on the feeling it, so we're going to apply it. And uh, that's not a hard formula to sell the players now. You know, they want to play in the balls at their feet and attack and, and get after it. And, and uh, you know, but you, you need, you know, you, you've got to find specific ways of how you're going to go ahead and do that. And we're kind of sorting our way through it. But I'm, I'm really early indications and the mental capacity to this point has been encouraging. You didn't know Jim, right? You didn't know Jim Harbaugh. Well, we have a lot of guys that we we kind of know that have somehow <laughs> intertwined, but not technically known. And that was that was reason you want? You, did you just have to work with him? Is that did you feel like in your career? Or? I mean, you know, his what he's been able to do where in all his stops. I mean, I just felt like you know, where else would you want to have the opportunity to be a defensive coordinator and and uh, you know. Uh, just such a solid, you know, fundamental, philosophical approach guy that, you know, it didn't take long to see that, you know, that this was the type of environment that, you know, I, uh, I felt good about. You obviously made changes and implemented your own scheme. How is it different, I guess, uh, than what they did a year ago? You watched tape, obviously. What, are, what would be the major differences if you had to you know, pick a couple for them to get over? Well, we, we'll start with a four-down scheme, but, you know, you guys have been out here, you know, we're not exclusively that. We'll do it, we'll do it all, you know. Um, and there's, there's some, you know, we'll, we'll play a lot of man type coverages, but we'll also play some other things, you know, and that's that's the new piece and that's the learning piece. So, uh, you know, I've never kind of gone in it, you know, I've, all, you know, I've done this a few times now, right. <laughs> gone in, you know, places and said, all right, uh, here we go, we're going to going to get after it you know we went to bc and they were on it in 13th in defense so you know we're like okay you know this is what you were and we're going to be different right. with all due respect to who went before me because that's that's exactly you know i have great respect and there's a lot of ways to get this job done but you know obviously the man that gives give me a job i gotta i gotta go do the best i can with it is harbaugh involved in any of that or is he kind of just philosophically saying, yeah Oh, he is? Okay. Oh, yeah, he's like, Some you know, like, say, you know, I remember one of the things he said to me, he goes, uh, he said, you know, coach, I'm probably 65% uh, pressure. He goes, no, I hear 85. <laughs> <laughs> so I think he knew what he was looking for. So, so. <laughs> what did you think when he said, or when someone told you, by the way, we're having spring practice in Florida? Yeah, I, I, I guess I got to, you know, uh, say it's been exciting. Kids have been great. Weather's great. You know, it's been a good opportunity. Can you tell us about